Okay, Aaron. Day three. First off, how you feeling? My quads are sore. Mostly my left quad. Because I got the left knee that's a little bit of an issue. So my skill levels feel like it's still improving. But now there's a fatigue factor. So I got to be keep myself in check a little bit. So I, yesterday was my second day on skis and had some new snow. But I went down some black diamonds and found my limit, stepped over my limit, kind of had to step back a little bit. But I feel good. I feel like I can, I, I have tools now. Okay, sure. good. Okay, little, little fatigued, but it is early in the morning. So I got you at a point where you're the freshest right now for today. For today, for yes. Today. This is as okay. good as it's going to get. <laughs> and are, are you ready to kind of learn some new stuff? Hell yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Separation. Your legs are really, really active. Uh, want to prepare you for more mixed conditions, prepare you for more moguls, which means the legs turning independent of a very stable upper body, mm -hmm. also working into pole plants and pole usage, which is so very important. Okay, so to start, I am going to take your poles away, okay? So that your arms remain quiet. I give them something to do while your legs do all the work. Okay. So I'd like you to hang on to your head with both of your hands. I'd like you to keep hanging on to your head and not let go, okay? <laughs> this is going to place an emphasis on your leg work mm -hmm. and quiet upper body work. Got it? Got it. Understood. Got it. <laughs> Understood. Yeah. So we've just upped the ante a little bit for what you're already doing. Your legs are going to have to be more active than ever. Yeah. All of the movements you already know. We're not going fast. No, okay? we're not. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Way active steering. And you even have fresh snow that you're dealing with, not letting the fresh snow bother you. Really committed to your leg work. You're demonstrating nice upper lower body separation. Your legs are turning more than your upper body. Your upper body's not turning at all. Nice, Aaron. Yep. This is amazing. Third day on skis. So active. Oh gosh, that made me tired watching. That was amazing. It's hard. I mean, really, these conditions, mixed conditions. How did that feel? What what, what did, was going on with your lower body? Uh, I felt better than I thought I was going to. I feel like I. Uh, there were a couple times I felt I lost it a little bit, but I, not so much that I couldn't kind of pull it back in turn or two and then realize I'm starting to fall back a little bit so I had to get back into my two yeah. position had to like activate nice. Nice. pull myself to the front of the boot and I don't know why I just can't do it all the time but it's coming so it's because you've been skiing for three days yeah okay okay now take yep take your pole so instead of hanging onto your head you're gonna hold the pole up high right there your upper body's quiet still, and your legs are just moving like crazy, activating outside ski, outside ski, sh short inside leg, ankle, a lot going on. A lot going on. You got this, Aaron. All right. Okay. So try to keep the pole facing down the hill as much as you can, not having the pole follow your ski tips. There you go. How was that exercise? That was great. It was a little intimidating at first, but... Uh... I took a couple of turns and I could feel what I had to focus on. My legs, my ankles, shifting my weight, turning the edge. And one of my challenges I think is that I, my arms, especially my left arm kind of gets stuck behind me. So by forcing it up out of play, I could just, all my energy was focusing on staring, so which is great. Uh, and then afterwards, I found that my arms were, once, you, once I got my poles back, my arms were out in front of me, as opposed to kind of flailing behind me. So something clicked. I love it, I love it. Upper body control, okay. It is time to work into pole usage and pole work. You need a pole plant now.
All right. So that's where we're headed. I'm going to give you something to do with those hands of yours. <laughs> so first you take away the poles, and now I can earn them. Exactly. <laughs> that's exactly right. I mean, how many times do we hear people say, keep your hands in front? Yeah. And how often does it work? Not very often, It right? hasn't worked for me yet until just now. So. <laughs> and I took your poles away. Yeah. That's right. So uh, waking up the lower body, helping helping you understand that we ski with our lower body. and uh, But the, the pole touch for for tempo, for stability, for awareness on the mountain with the snow, proprioception, where we are. Poles are very, very important. And now we're ready to uh, work into some pole use. I'm ready. Yeah. I think. The, the mechanics of the pole plant. The pole plant's not coming out of the shoulder. It's not coming out of the shoulder. It's not coming out of the elbow. It's not it, okay? So take your, your downhill here and it's just coming out of the wrist, okay? Just out of the wrist. So, and your, your whole arm can be a little more forward, a little more, yeah, a little more space, kind of like that. And it, the, the pole plants come out of the wrist, okay? So I'm gonna be like, touch, 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 touch. Touching a lot, just on the outside with your downhill stabilizing leg, Touch that pole a lot through the turn, okay? Get that wrist swinging. There you go, get that wrist swinging. I've never taught it this way before, but I think it's working. Wake up that wrist, there you go. Have your upper body face me as much as you can while you turn those legs. There you go, nice, nice wrist work. Short radius turns with the pole plant. So just a little bit of reach in that, that reach, that reach, I mean, you can even have your upper body down the hill just a bit more. Yeah, reach. So you're a little kind of forward ski boot extended. See that? Forward of your ski boot, down the hill. Your upper body is oriented a little down the hill and everything will begin, okay? okay? You touch, you turn around it, and find that tempo, okay? okay. Go ahead, just, yeah, this is brand new, so we'll give you some time and space to figure it out. Reach down the hill, yeah. Okay, now come on over here, Aaron. Okay, as usually the case with just about everybody, the pole touch is coming too late. We need to touch with the downhill arm, touch with the downhill pole earlier. You touched it when you were halfway through the turn. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so an earlier pole touch, it's gonna get that turn happening a little, earlier pole touch with the downhill right. pole, right? That's right, Aaron. That's the concept. Very nice. Reach and touch, then turn. A lot going on in my brain. I know, a lot going on. That's right. This is all you're going to be doing for the next few hours. Good. Yeah. Yeah, gosh. Whew. I wasn't keeping my trunk rotated enough. Well, you know, here's the thing. It's easy to assume a position. And we don't want to assume a position. It's, it's the concepts, right? Um, it's the concept of your legs turning more than your upper body 
uh, and you've got a very stable core, that's your anchor. That's your anchor for your legs to move, okay? We don't want to take the upper body and turn the upper body down the hill just for the sake of having your upper body down the hill, right? Mm -hmm. It is your anchor. Just keep that in mind. Yeah. We're trying for the upper body to be quiet so the legs can turn more and the steeps in the bumps for our short radius turns. Okay. Yeah, that's real nice. It's not as contrived. Yeah, your legs are just turning. Very nice. Sweet. Okay, so now it's a little more predictable. Let's see your aggressiveness. Does not mean fast, but very intentional, aggressive, short radius turns. With pulls. With pull touches, pull that's right. right. You got it. On this uh, blue run with more predictable conditions.